This is Channel 7 Sunday Sports Update with Jay Berry. Sports Update is brought to you in part by the heartbeat of America, today's Chevrolet, and the Detroit Free Press, Michigan's great morning tradition. Good evening, everybody. A little later than usual, but here just the same. And here's hoping your Easter was a nice one. Certainly had the weather for it. But it didn't help the Tigers. They finally fall to the Chicago White Sox after owning them for the first five confrontations. 7-2 Sox the final in the game. We pick up the action in the first where the Tigers seem to have it under control. Petrie with the strikeout and Mercado and Coles nail Redis trying to steal second. Then in the bottom of the inning, Larry Herndon supplies the big bat stroking a Floyd Bannister offering into the left field seats giving the Tigers a two-run cushion. Did I say cushion? Didn't last long. Very next inning, Tim Hewlett ties it up 2-2. Then in the fourth, Carlton Fisk adds another round tripper. Just the second hit off Petrie, but he's soon gone. Dan 0 for 2 for the season. Brian Kelly didn't fare any better in the seventh. Greg Walker takes him to the upper deck and right. 6-2 Sox, 7-2 the final right there at Tiger Stadium. All right, how about those record-setting Milwaukee Brewers who look like anything but when Rob Deere lets one get away in Texas has a 2-0 lead in the fifth, and it will get worse. Still in the fifth, Pete Incavilia gets a hold of one. It's long gone, and a 4-0 Texas lead Looks bad, but it's not over. The comeback starts in the bottom of the fifth. Sort of harmless at first, as Deer amends for his earlier miscue, and Milwaukee is on the board, but trails 4-1. to one. Let's travel to the ninth. Still 4-1, to one. Texas. It's Deer with the big blow again, with two men on. Can't help but stroke that one out. It's right down the pike. We're tied at four. This next one, for the record, Dale Swain with the two-run shot. Brewers pull it out 6-4. That's 12 straight wins to begin the season, and a new... American League record. On the scoreboard tonight, Boston beats Toronto 4-1. Seems like they've been playing each other every day. Yankees with two shutouts over KC, 5-0 and 1-0. Cleveland takes two from Baltimore, 3-0 and 8-7. Don Sutton falls to 0-3 as Minnesota tops California, 6-5. And Seattle beats Oakland, 8-1. In the National League, Los Angeles, no problem, 9-1 over San Diego. St. Louis beats New York 4-2, but loses pitcher John Tudor with a broken bone in his right knee. Pittsburgh with a 5-2 win against Philly, and Montreal topped the Cubbies 3-1. We're going to pick up the action in the seventh, where Sean Dunstan is upset after getting a close one from Andy McGaffigan. Dunstan gets himself together, <clears throat> steps back in, and now, for one of the funniest non-fights I have ever seen, McGaffigan comes close again. Dunstan is going to let him have it, but <laughs> winds up taking a tumble. How embarrassing. <laughs> All right, final day of the NBA regular season, and it's fitting that Atlanta and Boston were battling for home court advantage in the playoffs. Might have been a different story had this one been played at the Omni, but at the Garden, forget it. Boston, 118-107. Hawks with the early lead. Dominique misses, but Kevin Willis gets the rebound, hoop, and foul. Larry Bird says, okay, let's go get him. His first shot, a three-pointer, and it's Boston out front to stay. Bird with 32 for the Celtics' cause. And once again, it's the Birdman leading the way. Watch this no-look pass to Parrish. Boston up by seven. Mike Fortello says, hey, can't you do something about this ref? Not in Boston. Celtics seem to have it all their way as they beat the upstart Hawks, 118-107. In the rest of the NBA, Dr. J with 24 in his last regular season game as Philadelphia whips Washington 108-102 and as Portland by 10 over San Antonio 144-134. Time to pay some bills. When we come back, the insider, they take on pucks and players coming at them from every direction. But why? Hopefully, we'll find out what makes hockey goalies tick. Stay with us. With it, something new. Dan, interest in this new morning paper? Got no time to read a paper, Virgil. Good paper, Ben. You'll find the time. It was the beginning of a tradition. People here spending a few quiet moments with the morning free press. The sun came up again this morning. And like the past 57,000 mornings, the tradition came with it. The new Chevy Nova is completely different from the old Chevy Nova from years ago. The fact that the new Chevy Nova is the second most popular four-door compact is new. Its six-year, 60,000-mile warranty is new. 
The fact that 95% of all Nova owners would recommend it is new. So if everything about the new Chevy Nova is new, why'd we give it the same name as the old Chevy Nova? Because we like the name. The heartbeat of America, that's today's Chevrolet. I have no doubt. We challenged Michael and Jackson of these piles of cottons, each done in a different liquid fabric softener, which was done in hers. They all feel soft, but this is my fabric softener because it's very bright and very white. I like my white to be really bright and light and, and pure, like snow. Only Final Touch gives you a soft, whiter wash. Softness plus whiter and brighter clothes. Sometimes you feel a little Mexican. <laughs> And when you feel a little Mexican, try Chi Chi's new seafood fiesta sampler. One tempting seafood dish after another. Maybe more succulent seafood than you've seen on a table at one time. Dive in for just $6.95 per person. Chi Chi's, when you feel a little Mexican. When you were growing up, chances are at one time in your life, you wanted to be a pro athlete, a pitcher, maybe a quarterback, even a tennis player, but a hockey goalie? There may be jobs that are worse, but not many. Stu Clytenic has more on the subject in tonight's Insider. You've seen those signs on desks that say the buck stops here. Well, we're here at Joe Lewis, where hopefully the puck stops there, in front of Greg Stefan. You know, a hot goaltender can take you a long way in the playoffs, but before we get into that, the question is, why would any kid, when he's coming up in hockey, want to take a job where this thing's coming at him at over 100 miles an hour? Good question. <laughs> I think there, there could be a... One of many reasons, um, maybe the wrong place at the wrong time, uh, <laughs> I don't know, can't skate, uh, lack of knowledge, I don't know, one of many, you can take your picks too. I got pushed into mine, uh, my father needed a goaltender for his outdoor rink when I was five and he dressed me up, I froze and I, and I kept going ever since then. Yes, he sure has, and you know, there's no doubt about it, at one time or another, goalies have probably needed their heads examined and not for cuts and bruises. Jock Demers will tell you, these guys are a different breed. They're intense. They're, a lot of them are loners. They're, they're different. Uh, they cannot show too much emotion in nets because it could affect their game. And sometimes they show it off the ice. And uh, I got two guys uh, just great. Stefan is quiet in a way. Glenn Hanlon is very uh, strong in the dressing room. But uh, Steph shows a little more emotion on the ice. And uh, Glennie uh, keeps it more. But they're different. But uh, they're great athletes to be around. You know, you go to a hockey game, and besides the referees and the linesmen, the only one out there for the full 60 minutes are the goaltenders. So for them, it's keeping their mind on business that could make the difference. I think I've uh, improved as a goaltender and, and mentally as a goaltender. And I think uh, goaltenders in their late, uh, late 20s, early 30s are at their best because I think uh, goaltending takes a while for the experience to sit in and, and the mental concentration that, that you learn and how to not get too excited and keep calm. And uh, I've, I'm starting to learn a little more of that. All right, maybe we're making too much of goalies being different. Glenn Hanlon will tell you they're just like you and me, besides having people shoot at them, pat them with sticks, and wear masks to their job. I think that uh, we're just normal like anyone else. I don't think you can find anything different uh, between, like, Steph and myself with the other players. And I, I, I'd like to think we all kind of fit within the norm of the society. And they probably do. So from talking to Greg Stefan and Glenn Hanlon, there's no doubt what it takes to make it in the Nets in the NHL. A lot of brains and maybe a little no brains. All combined in one. For Sunday Sports Update, I'm Stu Clytenic. We'll be back in just a moment with more, including that slugfest in Phoenix and the Heritage Golf Classic. Stay with us. One morning long ago, the sun came up, and with it, something new. Dan, interest in this new morning paper? Got no time to read a paper, Virgil. Good paper, Ben. You find the time. It was the beginning of a tradition. People here spending a few quiet moments with the morning free press. The sun came up again this morning. And like the past 57,000 mornings, the tradition came with it. Terry, are you bringing the VCR up to the bedroom? Terry, we want the VCR in the family room. If you can't afford a VCR for every TV... Harry? Get a rabbit. Daddy! A VCR rabbit. Rabbit lets every TV in the house share a single VCR. So you can watch that movie in the family room or the bedroom. Harry! 
scary. And leave the VCR in the living room. VCR Rabbit. The VCR multiplying system. It's like having a VCR in every room. This is the Chevy S10 compact truck. With sports striping, rally wheels, and fuel injection, it goes pretty good. With a price like this, it's as good as gone. Reading the list of standard features on a new Chevy Nova can standard. get pretty boring. Standard. 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 But don't stop. Standard. It gets better at the end. On the next Pelly and Company. Two people fall in love and get married, making their relationship legally binding. That's what society wants. But what about homosexuals who want the same right? We'll meet a lesbian couple who did get married by a pastor. They're fighting for the right to make it legal. And then at 10, it's Oprah. The fathers and husbands of rape victims on the next Oprah Winfrey Show. That's Kelly at 9, Oprah at 10, weekday mornings right here on 7. Mike McCallum likes to go by the nickname, The Body Snatcher. And today he made former welterweight champ Milton McCroy his latest victim. TKO in the 10th round to retain his WBA junior middleweight title. Tough one early, both fighters getting and losing the advantage. McCrory taking the first round, McCallum the second. This one was definitely not lacking for action. McCrory coming on strong in the fourth. For the best indication of what was going on, let me take you to round eight. McCrory in big trouble as McCallum rocks him time after time with damaging blows. But it's McCrory coming back with guts and determination. However, by round nine, McCrory bleeding from the left eye didn't have anything left. And it didn't get any better in the tenth, as McCallum worked him over at will before the referee stopped the fight. McCallum moves his record to 31 and 0, 28 by knockout. McCrory, who has to be wondering if it's time to hang him up, falls to 31, 2 and 1. I think right now, what I do now, I think uh, I have better days than boxing. I think it's all over. You know, I realize that you have a love for this sport, and um, I don't have that 100% love for it. And um, I give, I give him all. And um, he got a 34 fight. Take it off. In golf, Davis Love III picked up his first pro tour victory and $117,000, thanks in part to a double bogey by Steve Jones on the final hole. Love, having already ended the day with a final round 67, watched as Jones let it get away and along with it, 47 grand. He still took home over 70,000 after finishing one stroke behind Love in the Heritage Classic. Playoff time hits Motown this week. Red Wings open against Toronto Tuesday at Joe Louis Arena. Best of seven affair. They will continue Thursday at the Joe before moving to Toronto on Saturday. And Friday night at the Dome, it's the Pistons hosting the Washington Bullets. This one, a best of five deal. Second game Sunday at the Dome before switching to Washington. And the Tigers invade New York for a three-game series starting Monday. Then it's back to Detroit to host the Royals Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that leads you right back to us. Sunday Sports Update is the show. I'm Jay Berry, and thanks for watching. Good evening, everybody. Channel 7 Sunday Sports Update has been brought to you in part by the heartbeat of America, today's Chevrolet and the Detroit Free Press, Michigan's great morning tradition. You've been watching Detroit's most trusted news source, Channel 7 Action News. For the most complete up-to-the-minute news, sports, and weather, join us tomorrow night at 5, 6, and 11. Bring your holiday pictures to Perry for photo freebies. Your choice, a free roll of Perry film or an extra set of prints. Only Perry gives you a choice. That's right. Lincoln Town Car, please. Cadillac Chrome, please. Cadillac, huh? Frankly, I prefer a big car. I agree. Too bad Cadillac doesn't make a really big car anymore. Is that so? My town car now. That's big. My Cadillac Brome. It's bigger. Well, mine's pretty big. Cadillac Brome, the longest regular production car in the world. Your Metro Detroit Cadillac dealers. Drive the Cadillac right. Ice cream, yummy. Kids are born stain makers. Uh -oh. So moms need the stain lifter. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh-huh. How does it work? All goes right to the stain and just lifts it away.
For my little stain makers. Greasy. I get the stain lifter. Wow. A-L-L. That's the stain lifter. Once in a while, you find a few people who just naturally work well together. Who complement each other in every way. Like the Channel 7 weather team. Each one has all the elements of a great weatherman. But together, they're even better. So it's no accident that more people turn to Channel 7 for weather. Jerry Hodak, Jim Mattis, and Rob Kress. Detroit's best choice for weather. Naturally. Venereal diseases are among the leading causes of illness in newborn babies. They cause deafness, mental retardation, nerve disorders, and even death. To learn more, call the American Social Health Association toll-free. It isn't shameful to talk about VD. It's shameful to let it harm our children.